There's a parade inside my city, yeah! It's my city. Oh, shit. It's my city, bro. It's your city. It's city. Oh. All right, Twiz. Get in your city, Twiz. Maybe on that penthouse life type shit, like type, type shit life. SMC Cribs. Oh. So like, the door and shit. Okay. So, what we got? What's your step now? Yeah, so in this room. Light it up, man. Get this shit on. <laughs> oh, fuck. My art. Oh, shit. Man, light it up, man. Bro, I don't know what my lights are. Oh. oh. So, we're in LA. We're about to go to the new Young LA gym and do a photo shoot for the sh super villain compression tees. Y'all uh, love the superhero ones. They always sell out. I think they've restocked like twice now, and they sell out in like two minutes each time. So, there are a couple new colors and they're not as like uh, crazy anymore. So it's a little bit more toned back version, but if you still want that compression look, it'll still be okay. Fuck you. Uh, also, um, we're probably gonna get a lift in after at the gym with Jeremy. Should be good, we got Drew freaking recording, so you already know that video gonna be fire, man. But um, yeah, I'm here for the week. So we're gonna try and get some good content in. And uh, I rented a wheel, so. We got the Tesla man. Yeah, I'll see you guys over there. Hey man, I ain't seen this joint yet. No. Wait, did any new equipment get here? Yeah. Whoa. But no, not the uh, lights. Not the fuck. Jeez, bro. Fuck. <laughs> Hey man, Gavin, back in a vlog. I was just thinking about that. I almost wore my yellow shirt today, bro. <laughs> just have it blend in. Oh, guess what we're putting you in? No. Mustard, bro. Are you actually? Yeah, mustard and ketchup. Are baby. you actually? Bro knows how to push my buttons. <laughs> hey man, they got you in the pickle fit, man. No, I asked for it. I said, white or pickle? I said, pickle. <laughs> Did they actually? Yeah, I, I like this color. I like, I like green. I've been wearing green a lot. <laughs> Hey, check it out. I got that. I got the Pepto Bismol shorts and I got the marshmallow shirt. <laughs> Look at that. Man, that's actually kind of sweet, yo. Put me in that fucking XL, though. No, thank you. <laughs> that wide angle is crazy. Yeah, bro has so much energy right now. Hey, when I'm get, when I get around my bro and I get in a new environment, man, you know the drill. You know what happens, man. I've been trying to take it down a notch. I've been trying to be a little chiller, but I don't know if I can get as cooler than I already am, man. Yeah, check out that zoom. Sweet, right? Hey, what's up, brother? How you doing, brother? Good, bro. You're looking good, homie. Good, I got you. Oh, the nipple, the nipple bottle. That's the best one. <laughs> That's the best one. If you ain't getting your homies the nipple bottle, then what you doing? Oh God, what are we hitting today? Push, push. I'm exactly. down, bro. Yeah. All right, I'm so down. You finally fulfilling that hardsaw prophecy again? Oh God. Me and the Step X Jam collab. It's about fucking time. Bro. Yeah, for real, real. Hello. I was just say I was just telling Jerem that like my my screen flips out to like have it front facing so I can see what I'm looking at. But like if I just stare at it, I'm gonna just fucking. What's up, guys? Um, so I don't even be using it, bro. I'd be flipping it like this because then I can just like I can just I can just distract myself. Bro, seeing my fucking goofy mannerisms, he's loving it. Oh, this is funny. Bro. Um, me and Jerem are talking for like two hours before this. 
Literally, just about bro. like every bro like we were trying to work out we just couldn't because there was just so much that had to be said <laughs> and uh, and uh i don't know me and bro just like get along real well because yeah. i mean i kind of have I, like bro i've known i've known this motherfucker for the longest time through social media yeah but, like i was waiting <laughs> just to like finally hang out with him so yeah today finally happened we finally fucking just and, like we were supposed to work out with Lex, but like he, he like busted his tire and shit, and like he's real busy, so like it just ended up being me and bro. It's what we needed though. That we uh, we're like kind of similar in following. It's nice to have like a bro that like you know gets you to type the shit. to the type extent that you need. And bro's like trying to convince me to come out to LA. And yeah, guys, he's, drop it in the fucking comments. So let, tell fucking Steph to move out here, bro, because I promise you the contest will be fucking crazy. <laughs> that Yeah, bro. I think I think I might just do it, bro. Bro, uh, I was telling Lex the other day that uh, Germ's got that, like, that charm, like, you know when you create your character at the beginning of, like, an RPG game, and you can, like, spend attribute points on stuff? Bro, like, max charm out to, like, <laughs> to, like it's, like, max, like, I swear, every time you talk to bro, he's just always, he's just, like, either, like, making you feel good about yourself or, like, whatever. <laughs> Bro's got that that persuasion 100. He's got that charm 100, I swear. Bro's just like, yeah, I'm handsome, and I'm good at talking to you people and whatnot. <laughs> we went to bro's, like, apartment complex, and there's this, like, random old guy, bro, I swear, it's out of a movie, you're just like, what's up, fucking Mr. Johnson? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Like, it's, I actually I hung out with him today because we're like really into cars, and he built this Cobra, dude. He's a, he's a good guy. Just that's sick. Man. You know, it's it's always nice to have like a old wise man, you know, that you know, <laughs> yeah. talk to shit with. You can just like he's like, let me tell you a story. You know, he always <laughs> has like something like interesting to say type shit. Yeah, you always yeah. gotta be, always be a student of the game. Y'all know that, bro. You always gotta uh, learn from from people and and uh, places and experiences because if you think you know everything. And that's you've already lost. Yeah, so broaden, broaden your mind. Deadass. Broaden your your vision. I think that you know a good thing that Jeremy was saying. If you're like in a place where you can't grow and like you've done everything you can, like you're here and your fucking head's hitting the top. Like Connecticut, bro. Like I think I've kind of reached where I could there. I'm kind of hitting the top there. But like, bro, if I move out to LA, my fucking ceiling's gonna be this high, and then I got that much more room to grow. Yeah. So. Very true. I swear, bro. Just, bro, just has those charisma one hundred fucking quotes and shit. He's yeah, hit you, me with. You gotta put yourself in uncomfortable positions, bro. Because if you just spend your time, you know, being secure, being comfortable, you're never gonna be able to accomplish what you want in life. And that's the most important thing: is putting yourself in uncomfortable positions to just fucking grow. And you know what? When you're in the top, smoking a fat Cuban, you got like five bad bitches around you. Like, yeah. <laughs> I made it. Yeah. Bro really knows how to uh, convince a motherfucker to move, I swear. Bro should just bro should start getting into... Um, that should be a real estate. Real estate. Fuck? Yeah, I was going to say, bro. You just fuck need... this influencer yeah. shit. Yeah. Bro, like, <laughs> fuck the influencer shit. Like, become, like, just start marketing or, like, some shit, bro. I swear. Like, I know your girl's trying to do it, but, like, Loki, you should be doing that, bro. Overtake her. Surpass her. <laughs> Use her as motivation. Surpass your girl. Yeah. Yeah, tell fucking Steph to move out here for real. Cause if I can't convince him, y'all definitely can. <laughs> yeah, I swear. I think uh, I think I think it might just be time. I don't know. We got this young LA gym. It's pretty sweet, and membership will be free. So I'd be saving money there. Yeah, bro. Then we could run up the fucking half court. Yeah, that'd be sweet. I could finally learn how to play basketball with my tall ass. Dude, I suck dick. You'd probably be really good. I, I'm like. Dude, bro, just get that vertical. I just don't like. I never be jumping, bro. I haven't jumped in probably like at least like three or four years. Did you bro. play any sports? <laughs> yeah, I played hockey. I was real good. Oh, dude, what? That's sick as. Fuck. I was. I was like. I was actually pretty decent. I had a bad experience with it with like, like my dad and like bro, the whole no way. like. Me too. Football. Really? Yeah. It was just you know how that is like the vicariously like trying to. They let, they that's a dad shit. You. That's a dad shit. I love you, dad, but you know what happened. <laughs> It's like, I've talked about it before on here, so that's why I'm not like afraid to like speak on it. It pushed me harder in the gym and like want to do this. Like, bro, I remember in school, bro, I just like would dread the end of the day, bro. I'd literally be like, I don't want, I don't even want school to end because then I gotta go to practice. practice and shit. Yeah, bro, I'd skip practice, go to the gym and shit. Uh, does chest ever turn you on? Oh, yeah, bro. I always get like a, a slight, like little half chub when yeah. I do chest. It don't hurt to chub every now and then when you're hitting chest. Well, I just feel like, I just feel like. I get like that skin flush, you know, from it because I'm like, just like so excited yeah, like about it. You feel it. You're like, oh. Yeah. It, it's almost like a little reserve. Like I just kind of <laughs> keep it in there. And I'm just like, oh, well, if I just keep it in there, like I can kind of just like utilize it whenever I want. I'll just, I'll just pop it into one of the titties like whenever, <laughs> whenever I need to, bro. It's like a little half like reserve. It's like a little stim shot, yeah, you know, from like yeah. Call of Duty. Oops. But it's like my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Where'd you get that tat? This one? Yeah, that's sweet. I uh, I actually got it here, bro. My tat artist was weird as fuck, but um, <laughs> dude, like really weird. Really? Weird as fuck. Like, bro, right after. I'm like, yeah, let me poke you with this little needle. Yeah, yeah. bro, right after I got. Let me the permanently tat, engrave this in you. Yeah, dead ass. Right after I got Wait, the what? tat, bro, like. To, we we looked at Snapchat like two hours after, and he was at some like sex club. What? Yeah, and like someone was getting like whipped and shit. I'm like, I just let this motherfucker tag me. And I was like, I knew the needle. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm like, babe, is, was the needle clean? I was like, Holy <laughs> shit, yeah, bro! What the fuck? It's great, but hey, he's, he's good as fuck. Yeah, that shit looks sweet. <laughs> bro, I've been trying, to, I've been trying to get tatted, bro. I want like some anime shit. Either yeah, like, I want like a knife or like a sword like here and then like reflection yeah. of like have you ever watched Avatar Last Airbender? Yeah, I was uh, like little. when you're young, yeah. yeah. I want uh like Zuko, like the guy with like the scorched eye. Oh, like yeah. I want his like eye reflection like in it. I had like a lot of meeting. Yeah. So I kinda wanted it. It's like bro, it's been in my head for like at least two years. Cause I was just thinking I'm like, damn bro, like what if in a couple years I'm like, what the fuck did I get this shit, bro? Like, yeah. <laughs> like you know, but